enjoy those. All right, I'm about to hand things over to our moderator for the next session. We hope you're ready to get involved with the discussion. This is Power Pack, ladies and gentlemen. Our next panel session is going to take things into a higher gear, our CMO panel, our C-level executive view in on social media and the landscape. I would like to, of course, invite our moderator, who's also the vice president of the Malaysia Social Media Chambers, Chris Daniel Wong, to take the stage. His panel, CMO, Aon Hewitt, Manish Shah, Philip Whitaker, Group CMO of Team Attractions Malaysia, and the man who has C in his name, CM Vignesh Warren. Uh, he is the Chief Executive of Human Resources Development Fund, HRDF. Welcome, guys. And I hand things over now to Chris to moderate. Chris, over to you. Uh, thank you, Terence. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Before we start the session, uh, we need to do some uh, flexings of muscles exercise. You all just have a coffee break. Right. Can I get everybody to have your handphone on your two hands, please? And uh, rise up from the seats. Open up your Twitter. Open up your Twitter. Tweet something. We'll get the panelists as well. Please take your handphone. All right. Can I have the music, please, Alan? Come on. Okay, follow me. Come on, guys. Be sporting a bit. We are trying to do some unconference here. Speakers, can you leave the line? Okay. From the right to the left. Okay, one, two, three. Come on, all right. Thank you so much. Okay. Now we've got laughter everywhere. <laughs> Let's give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for inviting me to moderate this session. The next session will be um, known as the CMO panel, C-Level Executive Views on Social Media Landscape. Uh, we have three distinguished panel speakers with us this late morning. It's actually uh, afternoon now, <laughs> almost afternoon, right? Um, first and foremost, let me introduce to you Mr. Wigness Warren. Mr. Wigness Warren is actually the Chief Executive of the Human Resource Development Fund, Burhan. Now, he will be talking on easiest, quickest, and cost-effective ways to achieve brand exposure in a minimal time. He will be sharing with you from the uh, he will be sharing with you a case studies on uh, the Human Resource Development Fund perspective on how they have uh, embarked on their branding. On, then we have the second speaker, uh, which is next to Witness Warren, which is Manish Shah. He is the head of marketing of Air... Really sort of dumb it down and go back to basics with social media for my presentation. Um, and really, I guess, take you through some key steps, uh, many of which... Uh, the company that, that I work for, Themed Attractions Malaysia. We have Legoland Malaysia Resort. Um, yes, thank you for that support. Uh, we have uh, Kidzania and uh, also Sunrio Hello Kitty Town. And thank you to all the closet Sunrio Hello Kitty Town followers there, Hello Kitty fans out there. Um, and uh, we, uh, we have applied these steps in our business. In what, but I wanted to kind of, I guess, just talk about some things to consider in setting up a social media program and some things that maybe you can apply uh, to improve your social media program. I, I, I don't think uh, we... Went too quick there. Okay. I don't think I need to convince you about the, uh, the importance of, of uh, social media to business today. I mean, all these statistics here will tell you that there's many uh, reasons why you should be doing social media. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's becoming not a nice-to-have. It is very much an essential part of your business and your marketing uh, mix. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Um, I don't need to explain all the various um, uh, social media platforms out there. This is social meow, yeah, explained. So you can see here all the different platforms and, and how they can be, be used. Um, but, you know, it's amazing we have all these platforms, but yet we're so disconnected in some ways. Um, okay, I've got this. I think um, the other thing about it is that, you know, there's, everybody is on social media uh, today, but... Uh, but not everybody. Some people are still catching up with that journey. And uh, I think for those of you that are thinking about uh, getting into social media, there's some things you need to first consider, as we did as a company. Uh, you know, basically, for, for example, what platform do you want to be on? Now, if you're targeting people like me, you probably don't want to be on Twitter. 
right? Because they're all kind of 50 plus. They're all uncles and aunties. Uh, they're not looking at Twitter. They're not millennials. They're not real time like that. They may be more on Facebook, for example. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not just a matter of saying, oh, we need a social media program because that's the cool thing to have. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the uh, campaign that the uh, New York Police Department did uh, recently. Um, they did a hashtag, uh, MyNYPD, and the idea behind it was is that you were supposed to go and get a photo with your friendly NYPD officer. The problem was, at the same time, they were having a lot of racial issues with uh, people being beaten up by New York cops, and so people were out getting photographs of the, uh, all the assaults, not of the friendly, smiling police officer next to them. So, you know, you've got to really think the campaign through. I think a lot of the, from a social media point of view, you need to actually have a very clear SOP, a very clear standard operating procedure. Now, how are you going to approach social media? Uh, what is going to be the, the way, the steps that you put in place? Our campaigns are actually uh, are resulting in, not only in likes and comments and all of that, I think that's good, but, uh, you know, in my view, those are vanity KPIs. The real KPIs are, are they actually resulting in new inquiries and, and, and new, new, new revenue as well? If I can just add a quick comment uh, from a B2C point of view. I think it's fairly true in terms of you know, where Asia's up to at the moment in terms of percentage of overall marketing spend on digital. Um, but I think this, we're going through a radical transformation. I think you know, in the next two or three years, we're going to see a very different landscape than we see right now. Um, you've probably heard uh, figures that, uh, from people like Gartner Research that the CMO is going to be spending more on IT than the CIO uh, by 2017. I think we're, going to, we're already seeing that in, in our company, for example, we're setting up teams on the data, on, on the, data the big data side of things, where, you know, whole projects now looking at, you know, it's not just about marketing anymore, it's about business transformation you know, as part of what we're doing. And the other thing is on the, on the digital front, you know, whilst we might be sitting at around 20 odd percent right now, I think within two or three years, we're gonna be sitting at 60, 70%. Uh, and I think there's many industries, uh, travel and tourism, you know, airlines, et cetera, that are, are very much going that way if they haven't already. And in a, lot, a lot of the more developed markets, they've already gone that way. Um, so it's just a matter, and, and this is also creating problems because trying to find uh, staff now that have the skill sets to be able to do what companies need to deliver is, is becoming uh, very, very difficult, particularly here in Asia. Well, um, before we break for lunch, Sorry, I have uh, one more last... Can I just yeah. uh, comment? Okay, uh, traditionally, when we're doing uh, offline marketing, when we put up newspaper ads and stuff like that, what we did was we put a specific name there and to see whether inquiries coming in to the particular name or not. That's how we track, used to track campaigns offline, I mean, newspapers and stuff like that. So I just say I have uh, one campaign running for this particular product, I put a name there, so when inquiries come in, then I know this, this, this particular campaign or this particular newspaper is, uh, is successful. So different newspapers, we have different kind of names. So translating that back to uh, uh, online, what we did was uh, when we ran a campaign, we tracked not only the hits and also uh, the downloads actually on our, so th that's our product. So every campaign runs, we see whether there's a spike in that particular uh, campaign or not. So we will determine whether this particular source is actually useful, uh, is, is running or not, or whether the money should be spent more on that. That's, that's what we do in HRDF currently. Thanks. Well, before we break for lunch, I got one more last question to Philip. Uh, a lot of emphasis has been given by marketers to Gen Y, especially. What is interesting is that uh, not many people talk about Gen Z. Gen Z is actually your children. Uh, if you are children, they are Gen Z, all right? So, uh, Philip, what is your take on the marketing aspect 